But we are developing the technology to be able to go to a satellite and have a robot refuel it. The ability to refuel, repair, and relocate satellites in orbit can be applied to scientific missions that are looking out at stars. It can be applied to weather satellites that save thousands of lives a year and billions of dollars in predicting storms, to communication, search and rescue, to the International Space Station helping astronauts explore our solar system. Those satellites, their life is limited by the amount of fuel they have. So if we can bring fuel to them, we can have their lives extended. So this test is a technology development test. And what we're doing here is proving and maturing technologies required for satellite servicing. So there's several things new and unique about this test itself. Uh, the first was that I was controlling the robot remotely from Greenbelt, Maryland, where the robot was located down at Kennedy Space Center. Uh, the second was this was the first time we were actually transferring a hazardous fluid. The robotic refueling mission on the space station transferred to ethanol, which isn't a hazardous fluid and it's not actually a component of satellite fuel. On the International Space Station, we wanted to be sure to be safe around the astronauts. Here, what we're doing now is using actual spacecraft propellant it's a very dangerous fluid, very deadly fluid. That's why we'll be in um, personal protective equipment, these full assembly scape suits, and that protects the, the people in the suit uh, from any sort of exposure. So on the day of the test, I used the tool on the robot to attach to a satellite fill drain valve, where we then transferred fluid through the tool and into the satellite valve, uh, simulating a refueling task. So as a tool designer, during the test, we need to make sure the tool's operating as we expect. So we sit right next to the robot operators. Um, as they're driving the robot, we're looking at video, we're looking at telemetry, making sure the tool's behaving as expected. Operating the robot arm remotely uh, feels, it actually kind of feels a lot like a video game because I'll have two joysticks in front of me that I'll be using to control the robot. And while it's moving very slowly, I'm looking at tool cameras in front of me that show the end of the robot itself. Kennedy was commissioned to design and build the propellant transfer assembly because they have such expertise in propellants. We here at Goddard have expertise in robotics. We have a great relationship with Goddard and a great team here at KSC and up at Goddard um, working on the development of these new technologies. The testing went nominal. We couldn't be more pleased. But that doesn't mean we're done, not by a long shot. We're going to take the lessons learned from here, integrate them into the new technologies, and do a complete end-to-end -end refueling test. I feel just great, so satisfied knowing that the capabilities that we are helping to develop are going to be able to be applied to so many meaningful missions that NASA works on.